Hi everyone, today we're going to deviate from our normal scheduled programming and we're going to try to uh, show you something a little bit different. As we mentioned in the previous episode, we just passed the one year anniversary of Art of One Dojo on YouTube. And to commemorate this occasion, uh, we're here with Sylvia Rosenberg from We Heart Cake, another YouTube channel. She makes fantastic cakes. You should definitely check it out. We have the link in the description below. And she made us a treat. She made us a Kempo Karate cake, kind of molded to our, our logo and our branding to celebrate this one year anniversary. And she was kind enough to do this for us today and we're here with her and she's gonna tell us just a little bit about the cake, kind of how she approached it, the process of making it, constructing it and put it together. And just to kind of give you a glimpse of the hard work she puts into her cakes. This took you about how long to take this cake? Five hours. About five hours. Without so, the baking part. Without, without, it's right, without the actual <laughs> baking the cake part, just to That's decorate right. it and get it to this point. So uh, we also will have a link to the description. If you want to check out the whole video and the whole process of how, what she did to make it, please be sure to check that out. So if you could just tell us a little bit about what went into making this cake. All right, so basically I started with um, two round cakes and I started it like any other cake. I put some filling, I covered it up with, with buttercream and then I started carving. So I printed out a big um, a printout of the exact shape that I wanted to um, my cake to be and I carved the, all the sides, I frosted them and I paid a lot of attention to making all the edges very, very neat so that um, it would look right. And then I covered it in fondant and then I made all these details. I actually hand cut all the letters, all the O's and the D's, because those are really hard to do. And, um, and then the figurines, the figurines, this tiger has Rice Krispie treats inside, which is really yummy. And um, I build a structure with a floral wire and then I just build it with some gum paste around it and I use some tools to give it a little texture and then I painted it. With this guy, it's a similar idea. So it was, um, you know, one stick uh, floral wire and then um, no Rice Krispie treats because he was very thin. So I used um, just plain gum paste and then I grabbed some scissors, some teeny tiny little scissors to cut out all the details. And then I painted a little bit the eyes and the mouth and some petal dust to give uh, the shot to make some shadows and to make a little bit of the the, the color look a little more realistic. What are um, some of the challenges into making a cake like this? Once you carve it, it's uh, getting the buttercream to be very smooth on the edges because you see you have to you see how the, the edges have to be very sharp and cold and you have to work fast because if the cake becomes uh, warm, then the edges are soft, your buttercream gives. So it's, um, that I think is the most challenging part of this. I mean, some people might think the characters, but I find those easy. The, the challenging for me was that part. Which is amazing because the characters are so, so intricate. Like there's so much fine detail on there that you can look and actually see like the fur texturing. And it's, I think it's a fantastic, it adds so much to the cake. Just these little details like that. It makes it more fun. Absolutely. So yeah, rather than your low, low, traditional flat images. Exactly. And it stands out. So the whole thing just pops that much more. So, um, so I mean, how do you approach this in terms of like doing other cakes like this? Is it a similar process? Yeah. Every time I have to make a logo cake, which is some, I, I do tend to do those a lot, um, especially like um, football logos seem to be very popular. So I print out the image in the size. I have to plan it out very well first. I print out the image in the size that I want my final cake to be. And I use that, usually it's a bunch of pieces of paper taped together. And I use that to um, carve. I cut that out and then I just carve around it so that I get the exact same shape. And then I use that to make all the details. Now, where did you learn to do, to do this? I mean, what was your background? Uh, well, I went to art school, so the artsy part, it comes from art school and um, the baking part comes from life experience. I've been baking since I was a little girl. I always loved it. On your channel, you do a bunch of different cakes. You, you do tips, you do recipes, you do kind of demonstrations. If somebody wanted to bake a cake like this or, or even approach a project like this, what kind of advice can you offer them? Be patient. Make sure you have enough time to do it, work with time, and uh, make sure you keep your cake cool so that um, it's easier to work with. And yeah, give yourself some time. My cakes did not used to look the same 10 years ago, so 
you definitely, every time you do it, it's a, it's a learning experience and you will get better at it. Uh, that's excellent. So thank you so much for doing this. This actually means a lot to us and it's great to be here. And we really appreciate this gesture of you know celebrating the one year anniversary. And if you guys have not seen her channel yet, please check out We Heart Cake. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. She's got all sorts, of, all sorts of cool videos. Please go check out her channel, subscribe, like her videos, and hopefully you can see even more projects that are even bigger and better than this one. So thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me here. Are we going to eat it? Uh, we're going to go eat it. So, <laughs> so not only do we appreciate the martial arts and we celebrate the culture and traditions, now we can eat it too. So yes. thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.